However, I learned to have forgiveness in my life because forgiveness isn't about the other person. It's about putting yourself in the situation and reaching your potential and no longer being. I'm with a great person who I just met that really truly inspired me, Brian Jackson, uh, who is truly living life without limits. I know a lot of us sometimes have situations that we think uh, we can't surpass or overcome, but Brian is a great example of that. Brian, can you please share your story with us? Yeah, my name is Brian Jackson, spelled B-R-R-Y-A-N. Yes, there's two R's, like railroad, and then there's a Y because I don't know. <laughs> but last name is Jackson. Um, and my story starts off in uh, 1991. I was born a baby, but I had asthma complications. And then when I was 11 months old, um, I was hospitalized for an asthma attack. My father made a surprise visit. The reason why I say surprise visit is he wasn't a very active father. He constantly denied I was his kid until DNA tests and said otherwise. And then all of a sudden he showed up at the time ready to be checked out of the hospital. Got my mother out of the room, and this is where it's predicted that he uh, stole HIV tainted blood from where he worked. He was a phlebotomist, so a blood technician, and he came over to my bedside at 11 months old and intentionally injected me with the HIV virus, hoping I was die off and he would have to pay shots. Immediately, my body went into shock, and the doctors were able to revive me. He took off on his pictures, told my mom, don't worry about looking me up for child support. The child's not going to live long. She didn't think anything about that because he was just always controlling, manipulative. And finally, in 1996, when I went to be in this playful, happy, energetic five year to this flirt of fever, sick kid, no one knew what was wrong with me. Instead, I was such a pneumonia diseases, even rare ones that only exist in other countries. And then finally I said, I know this is impossible, but let's check the for HIV. The results came back, and I was diagnosed with full blown AIDS. That means my T cell count was at zero. I had three opportunities to conception. After coding twice, funeral arrangements were made, and I was sent home from the hospital to die. But I um, wasn't supposed to see the age of six, but by the grace of God, did. Um, here I am at the age of 26, so 20 years later. And it's just not a story of survival. I don't want to leave anybody confused about my father. He's now serving a life sentence in prison. Don't have any contact with him. However, I learned to have forgiveness in my life because forgiveness isn't about the other person. It's about putting yourself in the situation and reaching your potential and no longer being under the they control or what defined by based what they've done. And so I encourage everybody to have forgiveness in life. I encourage everybody to shift perspective in life. Um, you know, I say the grass isn't going on your side of the fence. It's going the way you water it. Yes. So with that saying, like you can either choose to be a part of the problem or you can be part of the solution. In other words, do you want to play the role of the victim in this world or do you want to live in victory? Where do you stand? I love, I love, I love how you you have not allowed that situation to limit you, and then you're thriving. Like you said, it's not about survival, but you're truly thriving. How can people get in touch with you? Um, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, just uh, for Facebook, go slash Brian, B-R-R-Y-A-N, Jackson, J-A-C-K-S-O-N. Um, on Instagram and Twitter, it's at Brian Jackson. And then you can also check out www.brianjackson.com. I appreciate you having me here. Remember, I don't believe in extraordinary people. I believe in ordinary people who do extraordinary things like you said. I love it, I love it, I love it. Thank you for sharing that message. It's, it's a true story of being a conqueror and overcoming obstacles. And as I always say, you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great.